Welcome back, this is Part-Time Guardian. Season of the Chosen has arrived and with it are some incredible mods and new mod systems which can lead to some really, really crazy builds. In this video, I'll discuss some of those mods and systems and how they will allow you to build an infinite stasis super build that allow you to dominate all endgame PvE content. And I'm getting too close to 1,000 subscribers, which is incredible. I appreciate all the support. When I hit that, I'm going to be giving away some really cool gear. So again, if you like this video or this channel or the content, or if you have friends at my too, feel free to subscribe and have your friends subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it, and I'm really extremely grateful for all the support. So first off, let's break down some of the components of the build, and then we can talk through how to make it work in game. This build will rely on a steady stream of grenades, so having a high discipline armor set will help you out a great deal. For this build, I'm only using a very average discipline score, so if you could achieve something higher, you will be more successful than what you see in this video. The same thing goes for intellect. So again, the, the build you're seeing is a very average intellect build as far as the armor. So again, if you get something that's higher, you're going to get your super even faster. Having demolition and weapons that grant grenade energy on kills is also gonna come in handy as well. Finally, having all masterwork weapons helps out a great deal as you're gonna generate orbs, which will allow you to get your super quicker, which again, I'll talk about later how that's gonna help you with this build. Next, I utilize the Hunter Exotic Frosties. You don't have to use those because you may not have them. I have a variant that actually uses six coyote instead, but I like this because it gives you ability energy faster when you sprint. And then when you dodge, which again for the Revenant subclass will also freeze opponents, you get to speed up your sprint, which will make you faster moving across the battlefield, which is really key for hunters because they tend to be a little squishy. Again, more ability energy gives you your dodge and grenade faster, which helps you out with later parts of this build. Now that we've discussed weapons and armor for this build, let's talk about the mods and the new mod system. First off, we're gonna use some classic mods that hopefully you have. If you don't, you can go to Banshee and he sells them on a rotating basis. There's actually a Twitter account that you can subscribe to that will allow you to actually see what the rotation is every day. We want charges of light with this build. The more the better. In my case, I'm using taking charge, which gives you charges when picking up orbs of light. Since you masterwork most of your weapons, you'll be getting charges very frequently. Next, I use charged up, which allows you to get additional charges. For my build, that means my max is three. But again, depending on what you want to do, you could actually use other mods. I think I've, I've actually had builds, and, and I have some past builds like that, where you can get up to five charges. So again, it just depends on what you want to do with your mods, but this is what I did for this build. Next, I tap into the new Elemental Well system. These mods are obtainable from the war table in the helm, and the week I'm posting this video, both of these mods I'm discussing are available to get, so get them as soon as you can. Obviously, they'll come back on a rotation, but this week they're available. The first is Elemental Charge. With this mod, you get charges with light from picking up Elemental Wells. Now, what are these elemental wells? Well, to get these wells, which again, look like the little puddles you see in strikes when the attrition modifier is on, you will need to utilize a mod. Again, this is similar to the Warmind cell system that's currently in the game. My guess is at some point, they'll probably use this to replace it. My guess, we'll see. But again, this is very similar to that current system. For this build, we will use elemental ordnance, which grants wells on grenade kills. So you can see so far, your build allows you to get grenades very quick, and when the grenades drop elemental wells, that allows you to get charges just like the orbs of light do. So you're constantly having charges on. But what do you do with these? Well, the next mod helps explain why being constantly charged with light is going to help you out a great deal. We're going to use Energy Converter. Again, it's another mod that you can get from Banshee. It's, it's, a, it's a legacy mod. It's one that's been out from the last year. That, use, that using grenades with charges of light grants you super energy. This is limited to 50% of your super bar. So doing this early after super is best because no matter how much, let's say you get a ton of charges and you get a ton of things with a grenade kill, you're still limited to 50%. So if you're close to 50% and use this, you're kind of wasting your time. So doing this as early as possible after doing a super is probably best. Finally, to round out the mods, uh, I use a couple standard mods in this build. I use Absolution and Reversion with this build. Those allow you to get a ability energy on orb pickup. Again, you're picking up a lot of orbs, as well as reduce grenade cooldown on every orb pickup. So again, you're gonna get a ton of grenades in this build, which will help, help your Revenant gain extra super energy. There's an additional way this helps you with super generation. With my Revenant, I first use Glacier Grenades. This will allow you to then use Shatter Dive to break it, those into pieces that will freeze additional enemies and kill them. With Winter Shroud, I will also freeze enemies when I dodge, which gives me for more frozen enemies to send out frozen shards. 
With Whispers of Fissure, I'll be able to increase the damage and size of the burst of stasis when I share the stasis crystals or defeat a target. Again, why does this all matter? Well, with Whisper Bonds, you get super energy from every frozen target you defeat. So again, you see the synergy. You're freezing a ton of folks with your grenades and dodges and melee axes, and when you kill them, you gain super energy. This alone will allow you to get your super quickly, which is very similar to my Monster PvE not Stalker build, which by the way, still works. But how do you make this even better? There is a seasonal mod called Glacial Inheritance that will give you your super adventure back after a super, your stasis super, based on how many targets you kill with stasis. So basically, if you time this right, you can actually get back to super very quickly after casting your super. One of the secrets is being in a high enemy dense area and trying to get charges. Then using your grenades right after you cast your super. You'll get a lot of super energy back while your super is active up to 50%. Then once your super is done, it will give you even more super energy back based on what the super actually killed with stasis. Using this example, I took a very average armor build. Again, if you have a better build than what I had, you could get better results. But it took close to five minutes for stasis super to come back, and I got it down to around 40 seconds, which is over a 90% reduction in getting your super back after casting a super. Again, in endgame content or other PvE activities, lots of ads, say Prophecy or Battleground, or even certain parts of Strikes or Raids, you'll be constantly getting your super back and it'll allow you to stay safe and dominate the battlefield. So again, this is a, just a killer build. And again, will be viable for a long time. However, the full effect of this build is only going to be for the season since the seasonal mod does come into play. So I would utilize this as quickly as possible. I would also try to go ahead and get the elemental mods as quickly as possible because again, they will rotate, but they are here this week through Tuesday and you don't know how long it's going to take to do the rotation for them to come back. Again, I hope you really like this video. This, this is a super fun build. I've been trying it out. I think it's going to be something that's going to allow you, again, to, to live longer, to kill as many ads as possible, help your fire team during end game PvE activity. And again, as long as they have a lot of ads, you're just going to be wiping up the battlefield. If you like the video, feel free to like it and subscribe to my channel. Again, when we get to 1,000 subscribers, it's going to give you some really cool stuff. So I really appreciate it. And you guys have been very supportive. The channel's just grown really incredibly quickly, and I'm really grateful for that. And I'll see you, Guardians, in the tower.